So when you're a creator and edit your own videos, sometimes things get really miserable to find a, like a minimalistic copyright free audio like that loops as long as you want and the way you want. And I get it, it's super frustrating. And that's why today I'm going to show you how to start from scratch and make something out of it. Disclaimer, if you're a musician or been into this DAW stuff for a quite a long time, your eyes might bleed because I'm noob and I'm here Look, still making a video on it. it. Uh, uh. Last year when I bought this uh, tiny little audio interface, I got a free license of Ableton Live Lite which is like a digital audio workstation. So I'm gonna use that to make a minimalistic continuous, keeps you going, metronomical beat. So without further ado, open your Ableton Live Lite. <laughs> okay. So. I, I don't know why I, I, I laughed at that point when I was talking, but just open your Ableton Live Lite. It, there's no funny thing about that. I'm a simple person. I'm a very simple way. First thing first, you open Ableton Live Lite, go to the options over here, go to preferences, go to the audio section. All right. You see, if you have audio interface like me, put it to ASIO. Like, just put it. It will take a good care of that. If you don't have it, put it to MME slash DirectX. That's basically, you know, sound card of your motherboard. Can't make it. Can't make it. The shit stop. And yep, put your uh, input device, whatever you want. It, it, we don't need that right now, but put the output device correct. Otherwise, you cannot able to hear anything in your head. I mean, just put your headphones as your output device, uh, right? And then just. Dick fuck <laughs> Screen, what the f is ASIO? I mean, if you want to know the full form of ASIO, go f yourself first. Okay, it's audio stream input slash output. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I'm just high right now. I can't, I can't deal with this thing. Uh, most of you don't possess audio interface. So, uh, for this tutorial, I'll be running with the DirectX the motherboard sound card. Uh, just for the tutorial, just to show you that it, it still works. And yeah, that's what I'm supposed to do. Berserks. Uh, this is your performance monitor. This is your content library from where you can just import. Whoa, by the f way, installing Ableton Live Lite is pretty easy. Uh, but you gotta pay for the license, my darling. If you can't pay, you have your own ways to download. Come on, do I have to say it? Back to the basics. Press tab to switch between these two views like this. MIDI, aka MIDI track for making drum beats, making whatever the f you wanna make. Audio tracks for recording your physical instrument, like guitar, piano, whatever the f instrument you have. You play externally and you wanna record there. That's for that. Here we're making f***ing drum beats. We don't need four f***ing tracks for this. It's gonna be f***ing complex. So what you gotta do? Fucking spam the delete button. People spread hate so much. And I'm pretty sure you guys gonna hate the video because this audio track is blue. Because it's blue you simply right click on it and you can change it to whatever color whatever the f color you want and you know, no i'm not why not ah! my darling before you start anything you, you better save it so press ctrl s or you just go to file and then save and name it whatever the f you want yt69 maybe because seems pretty good name Six again. quick tip if you hover your cursor over here you'll see like a magnifying option hold left click go up and down to zoom in zoom out go left and right to move your track to right and left maybe i don't i don't know whatever, whatever i said but yeah it is what it is don't worry i can confirm that i'm not possessed by a demon it's just a result of a one cup of chocolate coffee which i just discovered by myself three spoon of sugar three spoon of coffee with a good amount of chocolate syrup and uh milk and water and just i just swallowed that in like and, and, and wait high like this let's go we have one track the green track press strap to go to this view select this f double click on this f so you can adjust the space of working just by like you know dragging up and down like this uh, which is just a quick tip whatever so as we are making a drum beat we need a drum rack so simply just hover over to the drum section over here and if you click any one of those that will preview what kind of kit they have what kind of sound they can produce like this example like real drums more than like what was that? Atomic heart type of? Enough. For this project, I'm gonna be using 808 drum kit. So simply hold left click, drag, and drop it to the track. A bit wait. Yep. As it's a whole drum preset, it will provide the whole drum kit uh, digitally through the keys. And you can customize the F out of this thing. But I don't wanna go into that thing. Just apply it, that's it. Double click on it. Here we go. So all the elements of the basic kit, like hi-hat, a snare, uh, bass, kicks, have been added to this keys of this piano looking sort of 
thing. First things first, turn on this thing. Then you'll be able to hear everything you're gonna be playing here through your headphone. I have no f***ing idea if you're watching. Why don't you subscribe to me? I mean, I'm sorry. Okay, no, I'm sorry. I'm broke. <coughs> You can hear these sounds, right? Let's make a beer with it. No crane, no metal, please. Nobody likes metal these days. Metal is dead. Shut the fuck up. Come left. You see a le <laughs> So you see the length option left side. Um, change the value to four. Uh, we're gonna be working with the length of four because it's the basics. So yeah, let's start with that. Can you see the scale? One, two, three, four. Come on, start already, mate. I'm so horny. But that's okay, my will is good. Yeah. <laughs> so let's start with the BS drum, shall we, my darling? So come over this first block and simply move your cursor and double click on it. That will basically add a chunk of beat over there, like, pop, like that. If you hold your left click over the bass, it will show you a scale that's convenience to your eyes. I have no idea whatever the beat I'm gonna be making because as it's like a creative process, whatever comes to your brain at the moment of time, you're just working on it. You have to you keep working on that. <laughs> Shit, I got cyber bully. But for now, just to get started, I'm gonna be adding a chunk of bass beat in second, third, and fourth block. Place the first two and then simply select them, press Ctrl D to duplicate and drag them into their correct position. To play the beat to preview it, just click here. Next thing what we're doing is adding hi-hats like why? Because it works as a metronome, so it doesn't matter if your ears can hear it or not, but your subconscious brain can actually. This metronomical actually makes you to watch more and more and more because it's a progressive like a clock ticking and sort of stuff, which you can't realize consciously, but your subconscious brain can. So simply add hi-hats uh, by a gap of one block like this. Fast forward. Preview. Nice. Forgot to talk about the BPM. Simple concept. Less BPM. Slow track. High BPM. That's still low. Let's make it high. Black metal. Make your brain creative. Get some coffee. Get some whatever you, you like to eat. And then test all these drum kits and, and these sound effects. And come with a beat. So long story short, I messed around with these separate type of beats and everything. And the sound effects for like around 5 minutes. So then I came up with this thing. I just added like uh, these open hi-hats in, in these places. And I added one more bass to those blocks there. Just beside those bases. But then I got lost again and I came up with a several type of beats like this or this or So if you're following up with me, I only added like a bass beats in every point three, like 1.3, 2.3, 2.3, and 4.3, and I added a extra beat over there, and I added a rim shot and snare like this. You can pause. Then I came up with the idea to add an open hi hat over here. Then I added one more bass just beside those basses we added at the very first of the video. Just like this, following up with the same pattern of rim shot and snare shot like this. Shut the fuck up. So I basically copied the same rim shot and snare shot pattern uh, over here and there, and I also added this open hi hat in these locations like that. I just like you to feel it like there. Sounds not professional at all, but it's pretty decent. <laughs> then I was experimenting until I found this. So I added a low tom in every one of these boxes, like there, like in this pattern, like this. Pretty good, right? Then while I was messing around, I found like a pausing pattern, like 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 a pause, like.
And I kind of added one high tomb in these two places because it was resonating with the low tomb and creating this amazing kind of, I don't know, sort of sound. And I was f***ing around and then I got this high conga pattern. Like I came up with this pattern. I'm like, whoa, that was crazy. And then like I added like this pattern over and over again in this part like this. You can also decrease the sound of it. So just like. Look at this. You, I don't even know like exact location of that. You just pause the video and watch. <laughs> okay, okay, I get it. You might be confused, so don't worry. Let me recap the whole thing. If you start from the scratch, there's two bass beats in every first, second, third, and fourth. There's one beats in every point three. Close hi hats in one block interval, except the last three. This you know this gap right there, which is replaced by an open hi hat, except the second part of the pattern where, where we did the pause. Then in high conga in every point three in this pattern like this, as we did before. You can go back and watch that again. Then our low tom and high tom in here, here, here. This exact position doesn't even f matter. Like, if you change the position, it, it may sound better. Who knows? Like, be creative and just, just you know, ah, fun. Then I was clapping someone in the background, uh, not clapping, I, I was messing around with the hand clap and then I added like a uh, one hand claps in every point four. One of the best part is by changing a single BPM, you just can make it this or this. Long story short, man, though, like I was messing around again and then until I found this. So I added mid terms in every one block left from 1.2. I mean, point twos in the scale, like this. So it's just in uh, 2.1. Uh, is this L? It's 3.1. Should be another L. L, 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 L. So I quickly fixed this part a bit. Also added this missing high toms here. By far this sounds pretty decent, but then I was messing around with it and then I found this low conga thing and then I just decreased this volume to like 31 or something. And then I just uh, added a low conga after every snare and it sounds like this. You know, man, once you're happy with your pretty much the bass beat, you simply, you know, just uh, come here and you just right click and hit copy and then just uh, go to this view and then simply, you know, control V and then just paste it. Holding left click, if you stretch it, it will loop the drum beat you made of length 4 over and over again, which I don't want. So I'm gonna be adding variations for, so for that. First thing first, I'm gonna increase the length to 8. Now, guess what? Select every f***ing chunk, control D to duplicate and just adjust it. So I just increased the length of it and in the second, so technically in the second pause, I added a couple of bass in here just to make it a bit more versatile, but a bit more less boring and like, you know. That's what I was talking about. Sorry for f***ing with your sanity for this long. Just simply select the clip, go to the file, export audio, make sure it's selected to wave. You can mess around with the settings and set to whatever the f*** you want, but for me, I'm gonna leave it like this and simply export it. I mean, name it. Export. And I successfully f my voice. By the way guys, thanks for watching and if you're having a bad day or you just lost your sanity by watching this video to restore sanity, you better watch this video right here. And that's it. Follow me on Twitch to catch me alive or if you need any help, just leave a comment and, and that's it. Good night, good luck, stay safe, stay human, stay home.